Well, the North Carolina Department of Transportation estimates there are 40,000 crashes in Wake County and the surrounding communities every year. And that number keeps growing. CBS 17's Mariah Ellis is digging deeper into how the state and local jurisdictions are moving forward with efforts to reduce serious injuries and deaths on our roads. More than 100,000 car crashes and 649 deaths. Brian Murphy, a traffic safety systems engineer with the North Carolina Department of Transportation, says it's a concern from data collected across roadways in the region, including Wake County and surrounding areas, over the last four years. There definitely has been an increase in fatality and serious injuries in the last few years. Really, since COVID, they've, they've kind of gone to a, a different level. Murphy says it's a trend the department is hoping to get ahead of, partnering with the Capital Area Metropolitan Planning Organization to help determine a blueprint for safety action plan. Our goal is really to to look at the safety data. So what can we learn from those past crashes that have occurred? Where are those located? Are there hot spots? Um, what can we learn about the people that were involved in those crashes? Kenneth Withrow is the senior transportation planner for the Capital Area Metropolitan Planning Organization. He says they're not just looking at research, but also gathering public insight through an online survey and through various events. Well, let's just take this one off. Since June, he says they've collected more than 1,600 surveys. They are the users of the system. We want to have an improved transportation system in all facets so that people can have access to that system safely. The Department of Transportation says early data has already pointed to serious crash sites on rural roads with higher speeds and more pedestrian and bicycle injuries in urban areas. There is interest in how to improve or address areas such as uh, traffic calming, how to improve lighting in, at specific areas. Obviously very different treatments to uh, fit the profile of the types of crashes that we're having. As the region grows and traffic too, Murphy says it's identifying the areas of concern, future projects, and opportunities to keep more drivers safe. Mariah Ellis, CBS 17 News.